Hey everyone, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another CVS early activation haul. So this week's haul is for the deal starting Sunday, April 28th through Saturday, May the 4th. So not the greatest week this week at CVS. Um, if you have some good CRTs, this may be the week for you. Um, there is one super easy freebie, um, but it's not like the greatest the greatest week we've ever had. It is P&G week, so if you are looking forward to those deals, I did do that. However, um, I did not purchase everything that I wanted to, so with my P&G deal this week, I wanted to buy a Tide. I was gonna use my CVS in up coupon, but I forgot that I used it last week, um, so I no longer have that coupon, so I didn't have that, so I will have to go back and um, do that deal to get my $10 extra buck, but that happens. Um, don't let it ruin your day. Even us people that show you how to do this mess up sometimes. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into this week's deals. So we'll start with the easiest deal this week. So that's going to be on the Sure and Brew deodorant. This is a limit of one, not of both Sure and Brew, but Sure or Brute. Um, deodorant is $2 and then you just buy it and you get a $2 extra buck, making it completely free. Again, that's a limit of one. Um, the huge money maker that I had this week, which is like the primary reason that I'm couponing, is the Aleve. So this is the Back and Muscle Pain 50 count. The deal is spend 20 and get an $8 extra buck. And then also, um, they're buy one, get one half off. So go ahead and pick up four. Uh, two will ring up at $8.49 and two will ring up at $4.24. That will bring your total to $25.87. Use four of the $4 off one coupons, and that is going to be in the 428 Smart Source, so this week's inserts. And then I had a $6 off of a $20 pain relief purchase. Um, I've seen a lot of three off of 12, four off of 16, so I just happened to luck out and get the six off of 20 this week, so I applied that to this as well. That brought my total down to just $3.87 out of pocket. So all the way down from $25.87 down to $3.87. So amazing savings. And then spend 20, get an $8 extra buck. So that was a money maker of $4.13 this week. So great deal on these if you're able to grab them. Um, next, we will do the uh, P&G deal this week. So deal is spend 30, get a $10 extra buck, which we typically get every month. Sometimes it's spend 20, get five, but for the most part, spend 30, get 10, um, which is definitely like the best deal. And then, so I went ahead and picked up six Pantene. So they are three for $12. So do that deal twice, total comes to $24. And then I was gonna do the tie, which is missing, of course. So that would have been $5.94, bringing my total to $29.94. Now my store does do the 98% rule, which means if you spend 98% of what you're supposed to be spending, your extra buck will still print. I do know that some stores don't do that now. Um, if your store does not do that, go ahead and add like a Puffs tissue or a Dawn dish soap. Um, there are coupons for that as well. They're 99 cents, it's just an easy throw in item to get you up over that $30. So, um, but I didn't have to do that, so the Pantene and Tide will come to $29.94. Use two of the $5 off of three that are in the P&G insert, and then the $2 off of one, either in your CVS app or um, from the P&G. And then I had a $4 off of an $18 hair care purchase, which I haven't gotten in a long time, so that was nice to see. And then that brought my total down to $13.94. But since I spent $30, I get that $10 extra buck, making all seven items just $3.94, which ends up being like 55 cents per item. And anytime that I can get um, Pantene for under like 80, 90 cents or um, Tide for under $3, it's definitely a great deal. So basically, I just paid for my Tide today. Let's see, like, well, I would have paid for my Tide um, by the end of it. So. Um, pretty sweet deal there. And then lastly, on the Joa Cosmetics, um, it's J-O-A-H, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. They are spend eight and get a $5 extra buck. Um, I just got some lip wear that was $7.99. I did pull this from my stockpile. This might have been $7.99. It might have been $5.99, I can't remember. Um, but just look for items that are $7.99. There's a setting spray that I know for sure is $7.99. There's like a lip liner that's like 
$3.99, so you can buy two of those. Either way, um, just to get to that $8 mark and you get a $5 extra buck, making it just $2.99. Probably wouldn't have done this deal. Um, however, I have such a crazy moneymaker this week with the Aleve Plus, um, if I bought this and the Pantene, we all know that the beauty box is spend 30, get three. So I will have spent 30 with the Pantene and the lip liner, or I'm sorry, the, the lip gloss. And so it makes this basically completely free. So that is why I did that deal. Let's go ahead and go over my totals for the week. So for everything that you see here, I would have spent $65.80. Now between CVS, CRTs, and manufacturer coupons that I took an additional $38 off, that brought my total down to $27.80 out of pocket, but I got back $25 in extra bucks, making it just $2.80 out of pocket. But like I said, I get that $3 uh, beauty buck for spending $3 in shampoo and cosmetics. So really, it was a 20 cent money maker for the week. So not a bad week, just not too many crazy good deals. But as always, let me know in the comments below if you guys have any questions and I will do my best to answer them and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.